going through some of your boards, Brandon and I talking about going back in time, a lot of the work we've done with you uh, for Dark Star. It's been uh, like a 10, 12 year run of, of us doing graphics and specifically your graphics for you. So super stoked to get all three of us on a call and kind of, I want to get your thoughts, Greg, on just skateboard graphics and, you know, your career has been long um, and it's been a great career. You've been with Dark Star for a long time. So I th we're kind of just interested to hear your thoughts on board graphics and, and that whole part of your career. Cool, man. Like, uh, Dan, uh, thank you for putting this all together. I'm stoked to be here. Brandon, it's really good to see you. You've done a great job on working with almost 99% of my graphics in my pro skateboarding career, which has been absolutely amazing. And to be honest, just working with Lincoln in general has been amazing. You guys have been such a good company and are so creative with the graphics and super easy to work with. So I want to thank you guys for putting in all the hard work and, you know, you know, you guys got a lot of, lot of, a uh, lot of skills. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, I think we've worked on many graphics that are kind of series driven. Yeah. Um, and then we've also done one-off graphics, like, you know, the one you see in the background right here uh, with the skull and the candles. And, you know, I grew up, you know, listening to a lot of like stuff like, you know, Guns N' Roses right on, and yeah. like that kind of stuff. So I felt like, you know, that, that like fit my vibe right there with, you know, with the skull and the roses and it's just kind of, it's very dark star too, which is cool. And, you know, I, I always just kind of threw ideas out there and you guys ran with it and did more than I could ever imagine. Um, so when I had something in mind, you know, when this came out, it was like to that like next level, I was like, wow, like I, I couldn't even really say anything, how to make it better. You guys killed it like right off the bat, you know? I mean, to me, one of the best things that I was super stoked on was when we, uh, dark star had the license for Harley for a while it's yeah. like a two or three year run on that um and knowing you and you had a bike and i think you had you know a bit of a partner partnership or something going on with harley or at least riding the bikes you know that when we were right. doing those series i was like this makes total sense greg rides skate brandon's we've done harley tees outside of um of dark star and stuff for years so like that whole thing like i was like this is rad because greg specifically rides bikes where some of the some of the other riders in the series it's like they've never really ridden a bike or that doesn't make total sense you know but for you i feel yeah. like those those were super rad yeah it was one of those things you know growing up in the midwest milwaukee wisconsin where harley was founded um i ended up getting an opportunity to get sponsored by harley davidson and they uh you know my dad always had a harley growing up you know, we go up north. My um, my aunt had like a dirt bike. So I like I, I rode motorcycles as a kid, but not as much as I do like now. You know, like as I got older, I got into riding the bigger bikes like the Harley Davidsons. And and, you know, it's an iconic brand. And I, I, I just had that like kind of feeling if I put something together with Chet with my connection I had at Harley and then with my board sponsor, it was kind of a, a shoot in the, the dark. But you know, somehow they made it work. And, and at that time, Harley uh, just started to sponsor the X Games. So a couple of years they sponsored X Games. So when I went there to skate X Games, I would do autograph signings at their booth. And then they had like a, a series that they brought in um, where they had their own competition um, outside of skateboarding, but at heart, at, uh, at, at X Games, uh, flat track series. So, you know, they got really involved in sponsoring different athletes inside skateboarding. And then as it went on, I think in the beginning, I was like one of the guys that on, on Dark Side that did ride motorcycles. But then all of a sudden, then PLG got a bike and then Dave Pachinski got a bike. And then, you know, Ryan DeCenzo grew up riding dirt bikes. He never really rode Harleys. But, you know, I think that inspired not even, you know, me with riding motorcycles, but also like the rest of the team. And now me and DeCenzo go, uh, you know, and, and Dave, we all go go ride motorcycles, you know? And, and when I, we were on dark side at that time, not all of us rode. So I think just that partnership alone got us all excited about motorcycles in general. So, and what better to do it with Harley Davidson, which is an iconic brand. And it, it was a really cool series and collector items too, you know? I actually got a good story too with Yellow Wolf. I went to, uh, Yellow Wolf hit me up and I was going to X Games um, in Texas and, uh, I guess he got hired to do one of the after parties and perform there. And he actually hit me up on Instagram. He's like, dude, if you can get your hands on like some of those Harley graphics that you guys designed, you know, that would be killer. And uh, I had Chet send me out, you know, a box of them. And, and he was super pumped on those, oh, sure. those graphics as well. So rad. That's, yeah, that's super so, rad. 
I'd love to see that. Those are, those are some of my favorite Dark Star graphics as well, just because I love motorcycles. I love skateboarding. I love the artwork that you guys put together. And uh, it was it was awesome, man. I actually got some of them here in, my back, in the background here, as you guys can see. There's some of the Harley graphics. Yeah, the over tattoo there. on the, the flag yeah. girls. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, I got them. I got them hanging. I know Brandon's always super down for a skull. Anytime he gets a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> any of the skulls. Yeah, I can dig into those. Um, we've done a couple with uh, like uh, mechanical animals. Uh, those are really cool. I actually mm. like the the series. That's it's like uh, the shovel head right here. It's kind of like shiny too. Did you guys? Oh yeah, yeah, the engines. Yeah, that was cool. The Harley engines. I do something like that where it was kind of like a metallic kind of shiny feel, or was that something that Dark Star doing? They printed that. Uh, I think that was them from the beginning. Probably called that was out. Was that? Yeah, because yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Because not a lot of brands were doing that back then. Like, yeah, it seems like Dark Star always wants to push the the printing and what can be done there. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you guys did this graphic too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shovelhead. Yeah, those turned yeah, out. I really did a cool. series of engines. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. And I'm super into skulls too. So Brandon, yeah, all the graphics. A, yeah, I come from oh. the heavy metal punk background myself. So yeah, that works yeah. well. <laughs> I grew up listening to you know Guns N' Roses, Ozzy yeah. Osbourne, all the all the classic stuff. So um, to be yeah. able to kind of yeah. show it in some of the graphics that I ride and having that kind of same feeling is is uh, yeah, that's, is awesome. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's exactly where I come from. So that's a wrap. Greg, I got I got a question for you. I often wonder like so we do board graphics here, right? You know, and I try to get from Chet or whoever whoever we're doing the board graphics for like a copy of every board we do like do you as a pro rider try and like get every single board every single graphic that comes out with your name do you have, oh yeah do you have a yeah. stockpile i have stacks <laughs> i have stacks of boards up to like of yeah and multiple of the same graphic you know um but i definitely have one or two of every single graphic i've ever had in nice. in, in my career along with other pros that were on the team that I could get my hands on their graphics and having them sign those boards too, just because I'm a big fan of art and I'm a big fan of supporting my friends. And, you know, and it, it's crazy how time flies, like looking back at it, like, dude, I got signed boards from like Paul Macnow and like, you know, just, yeah. just it's crazy how time flies. So like looking back, I'm like, grab, glad I grabbed some of his graphics. Like, dude, it seemed weird, but Hey, can you sign this? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> my homie, but at the same point, like, I'm a fan of your skateboard. I'm a fan of the artwork, and it's just something cool to have part of the collection of my personal skateboard collection. You know, we're in the middle of yeah. uh, putting out, uh, putting together a book called Skateboard Mayhem, that's gonna come out at the end of the year with just like a catalog of graphics we've done. You know, for different companies and things. So we'll have a section in yeah. there with like basically just your graphics, and yeah, it'll it should be cool. You sent me one of your books too that just came out not too long ago. It was a Lincoln book. I think it's downstairs. Um, and that that was the first book you did, right? Yeah. So we did a logo one. We did a logo mayhem, illustration mayhem, and then number three will be skateboard mayhem. I have one of the books, and you know, it's downstairs in the cocktail. When people come over, they always flip through and like, damn, who did all these graphics? And <laughs> Sick. Um, it's crazy because when I started working with you know Dark Star, and then Dark Star was working with you guys on a lot of the graphics, like. I never really knew much about Lincoln until I think you were on one of the emails, Dan. And then I was like, oh, this is the company that does doing all of our graphics. And then I looked more into it and I'm like, well, you guys do graphics for, you know, like now with like the Do Tour, yeah. one of the contest series that I, I skated in for many years. And then, you know, Element and some of these other Plan Bs, all these other big brands. Yeah. So I think it's really cool that you guys are doing this kind of series where you're talking about this and putting out there where, you know, it's, you know, because I feel like, you know, you guys put a lot of a lot of work into these graphics and, you know, the kids and fans, they get to see them, but they don't know exactly who did these. So I think it's really yeah. cool that you guys are putting something together like this, you know, and the books, too. The books are like collector items. Yeah, I feel like. You know. Rad. <laughs> yeah, right on. Yeah, for sure. We worked on a lot of pro, you know, pros, boards and stuff. And not that often do we actually get to talk to the pro or get their feedback yeah. or whatever, you know, in the beginning. 
I was so stoked to work with Darkstar and the fact that we were talking directly to Chet Thomas. I'm like, whoa, what the, oh, yeah. what the <laughs> fuck's going on here? You know, Brandon and I yeah, you yeah. Know, grew up in, you know, in that era and everything. It's like, holy shit, yeah. this is Chet Thomas. Before like, I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to be a pro skater, but I just, I don't have those skills. Skateboarding, art, music, like that whole culture, even mm -hmm. the motorcycle industry, like I feel like it all kind of like oh, yeah, for goes sure. together, you know, like there's a lot of, there's a lot of similarities with all of it, you know, especially skateboarding and art. I mean, there's, there's like, there's guys that want to collect these boards just to hang them in their garage or in their mm. house yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean, like, yeah, yeah I was hooked um, on skateboarding. One of my friends showed me a, a pal, Mike McGill, that skull with the snake wrapped around. I was hooked. I've been hooked ever since, you know, it just took that one graphic, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> or like the iconic one, the, uh, the bones, the 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 reaper like oh yeah all through. those yeah those things are so those legendary classic <laughs> graphics you know still influence me to this day so those will never go away you know yeah so i think even people i've seen that tagged me they even had some of my graphics tattooed on which i was like oh, nice. going away. They, just, <laughs> That's sick. they just like the graphic a lot you know? yeah I'm, I'm sure we have some old photos of like sheckler graphics tattooed on people and yeah that's the best yeah yeah yeah. I know P Rod got one of his and Sheckler too. They got they got some of their graphics mm -hmm. tattooed on themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sheckler's got one on his forum. Uh Adam Diet just got a big one on mm -hmm. his shin. Adam Diet too, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That that you did, right, Brandon? Although even actually yeah. I got a graphic too on mine. One of my <laughs> graphics, Millennium. I got a tattoo. It was a Millennium graphic, it says my name on, but this was a Millennium graphic way back that I ended up right. just loving the artwork and I got a tattoo. <laughs> <on me. laughs> cool. It, uh, the so, art, art and skateboarding goes hand in hand. You can't have one without the other, you know? All right, Greg. Thanks, man. I appreciate you jumping on with us, taking your time. We're going to keep working together. we got some things in the works right now that we're working on with you, so I'm excited to re release those over next year and everything. So the relationship will continue. We appreciate you trusting us with the board graphics. Brandon freaking crushing it as always. Um, yeah. Thanks, just, sir. Yeah. yeah. Stoked to connect. Man. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Brandon. You guys kill it. Lincoln Design Co. Always on top. You guys murder it. Uh -huh. <laughs>